Hey there guys, so today I'm going to be talking about the big final that happened just yesterday, the Euro 2020 final. First of all, congratulations Italy, they did very well in that game. They did what they had to do, they won on the penalties, they did very well. And condolences to all you England fans out there, I know you thought it was going to be coming home. It went Rome though, so it went Rome, so let's just talk about the game. Uh, big opportunity miss for England in my opinion, it was theirs to lose I thought. Uh, it was in their hands because they got the early goal. Let's talk about the first half. They started off really well. Got that early goal from Shaw. Great play from Kane, spreading it out wide to Trippier, I think. And then Trippier with a great ball in, uh, into uh, Shaw, sorry. And then Shaw with a great finish actually passed a very good goalkeeper in Donnarumma. So great start for England overall. And then they got the early goal, and then that was right into Gareth Southgate's hands because usually how England play. They usually play with like very defensive, they like dropping off, get 10 man behind the ball and just cancel the game out really, that's what they like to do. And that's what's got them to the final. It was in England's hands really and they didn't really drop off in the first half actually because when uh, Italy had the ball or an, an Italian player had the ball, they always had someone in their face, so like they had three or four England players around their face but then when they try to bring it forward as well, they've got a, two blocks of white shirts in front of them, so they're struggling to get past them. So I thought England played really well defensively and defensively. They got the goal, they were defending well, they started off great. Uh, Italy posed a little threat, but not really because of England's great defence in the first half. They got the early goal and they defended well. And But there was a few glimpses from like the Chiesa, I'd say that's the main chance the first half, the Chiesa chance. It's a good chance, good running from um, Chiesa. He got off Rice, and it was a it was a good finish. Uh, good finish didn't go in, but it was a good shot, good chance for Italy. Just letting them, letting England know that Italy are a threat. They're still in this game. There were some great performances in that uh, first half as well from England. Overall, you had Deck and Rice winning the ball back, running in from midfield, running the ball forward. Calvin Phillips was great, I thought the whole defence really, Pickford as well, he didn't really have to make a save but he was communicating well, they looked very good defensively, they also looked a threat going forward, so yeah overall England I thought were amazing in that first half, then they go into half time and I'm like okay, I'm a bit worried because I think it's going to it's gonna go to England, I think England are going to win it. I don't know what Gareth Southgate said at half time but I would have said more of the same, keep pressing them keep getting in their face, just don't don't drop off, but that's what they did. They dropped off like a few yards and as soon as we started the second half, Italy were on the ball, starting to dictate the play. Verratti was on the ball a lot, Verratti was really good in that second half I thought for Italy. He was getting on the ball, starting to dominate play and create chances, getting it to Insigne. And Chiesa, he was immense in that second half. Even though he had to come off, I thought he was amazing. He was he was the main threat for Italy. And I thought they were amazing in the second half. They were really, really going forward, really attacking, trying to get that goal. And then eventually they got the goal from the corner. It came in. It was a bit scrappy, the goal, but they got the goal. And I think they deserved what they got because in that second half, it was all Italy, really. They had all the ball, they were creating tons of chances. And at the end of the game, yeah, I think it was Italy had 19 shots with six on target and England overall in the game had six shots and two on target. I thought the two guys at the back, Bonucci and Chiellini, they kept Harry Kane, Sterling, all them quiet. England didn't really have a counter-attack, so they were kind of like stuck in their own half. But then as soon as Italy got their goal, Italy started to, uh, not Italy, as soon as Italy got their goal, England started, they knew they had to come out again, they tried to get a foot into the game, they got back into the game sort of, they just had a lot more of the ball, but then got to extra time and it was, that was it. Now if we go into extra time, I thought Italy had quite a few chances, I remember that fast ball that came in, I don't know who crossed it in, but it was a uh, great chance for whoever was in that, I think it was Bernadeschi, missed the ball. It was a great ball from, oh, I can't remember, but it was a great ball, a good chance for Italy. England had a few chances though as well, so they, they were a bit more threatening in the extra time. 
And as soon as I say, as soon as it got to the end of the first half of extra time, Italy looked like they were going to play for penalties. They looked quite confident on penalties. And so they should because they actually beat Spain on penalties in the last, in the semi-final. So yeah, I think they'd have a lot of confidence going into that. So Italy played for penalties. England, as though, although they had the ball, they didn't really look that threatening. They didn't create a lot of chances in this extra time period. So I think they were quite happy to go to penalties as well. I think Southgate maybe should have put on maybe a Sancho or a Rashford earlier and a Grealish earlier to get into the game, get the ball going, get the ball moving, maybe create something for Harry Kane or Sterling, something like that. But I think they were quite happy going to penalties as well because at the end of the day, penalties is like a 50-50 thing. So it's, it's a lottery really. So you could either win it or you could lose it. So then we get to penalties. It was interesting, the penalties. I think Gareth Southgate's selection for the penalties I thought was wrong to be honest with you because I thought you don't give the fifth penalty to Bakayo Saka you don't give a 19 year old a huge penalty like that so then we go into penalties it's quite interesting penalties because I thought Gareth Southgate's selection for penalties it wasn't the best to be honest he, quite, he picked quite young guys I get the Rashford one, I get the Sancho one the one I don't really get is the Saka one. As much as Saka is a great player, he looks really exciting, you don't give a 19-year-old that huge responsibility yet. If I was a Jack Grealish or even a Sterling, I'd be saying, oh, get me on a penalty, get me on a penalty. And if we speak about the keepers, I thought Pickford and Donnarumma did amazing in the penalty shootout. Pickford saved, one, saved a huge one, actually, from Jorginho to keep them in the game. But Donnarumma was amazing, he saved the penalty for uh, the Saka one, he saved, I think it was the Sancho one as well, Rashford hit the post. But yeah, overall in the game, I thought Italy deserved to win the game, and the tournament in general, because I think they've been the best team in the tournament. The best team in the tournament won the tournament, so that's good to see. Uh, condolences to all you England fans, and England in general, I thought they played really well to get to the final. But I think Italy deserved to win it, so condolences to, uh, condolences to England, unlucky, they were a bit unlucky, it was penalties, but congratulations to Italy, you've been the best team in the tournament and you fully deserve to win the Euros. The Euro 2020 champions, Italy. So that's my opinion guys of what I thought was going on in the game, feel free to let me know what you thought of the game in the comments down below, feel free to like and subscribe guys and I'll see you later.